good morning good morning it's lovely to be with you this morning um, it's quite uh, wet and windy out there and it did look like it was trying to snow but I think it's just gonna it's gonna be sleet and it's just gonna be rain but it's lovely to be with you today and um, I just wanted to as, as per normal just bring a little message um, that God's put on my heart and I, I've been praying about every day I pray and I ask God uh, what he wants me to share and so this morning I've entitled the message um, far away I've called it far away and I just want to um, just do a little introduction to that message and maybe as I'm doing that introduction you know God is calling us to come out of the cold and into the warmth of the you know of the living room if, if you're outside in the freezing cold weather and you know you come into a living room and there's a fire and you're warmed up you know it warms you up it warms you up and you feel like uh, all the cold go away maybe God is calling some of us to do that this morning and I just want to share um, in De December 2019, we went to see my mum in her care home and she suffered from um, Lully body dementia and Parkinson's and the, the stays were only short because she couldn't see us for a long period of time. So we went along there and spent some time with her and I decided to sing her one of her one of my songs in Italian that she loved me singing when I was a teenager and I sang the song to her and I said at the end, do you remember it? No, I don't, she said and she didn't remember the song but... We spent that time with her and then we said goodbye. We left to go and spend some other time with the family because they're not in this part of the country. And uh, it, it was, you know, it was just, I never realised, um, you know, j just what would happen in the following months. Then the following months, by the time it was March, there was the lockdown and we never ever saw mum again. And um, for five months, nobody could visit the home. Nobody could see her. My sister used to go three times a week and she couldn't no longer go to see mum. And, and in my heart, I often thought, what must she have thought? What might, how must she have felt? Did she feel abandoned? What, what did she feel? What did she think? And it went through and through and through my mind and I just prayed and I gave it to God. And my prayer was, God, I just pray in her heart that she will know that we loved her. And that was my prayer. She gradually de deteriorated and passed away in August. And it's just, it was just that sense of, despite all what was happening, she felt, it felt like she was far away. She was far away. She was separated. and. Um, it was just like a, a gulf, you know, a, a separation. And, uh, uh, you know, I just really felt that God was speaking to me about his love. And, and, and quite a, probably about four years ago, I, I had to go and um, pray with somebody who had dementia. And I was asked to go and pray with them and their husband. And the, the, per the lady was very, very ill. And I thought, well, what do you pray, God? What do you pray? And God said, pray about my love, pray about my love. So I started to um, talk to the lady and, and she was lying down. I put my hand on her hand. She was in bed and I just said to her, God loves you and God wants you to know whatever is happening with you. Nobody can take away his love from you and nobody can take away um, how much he loves you and, and, and that knowledge of him. And all of a sudden she squeezed my hand and as she squeezed my hand, her husband began to cry and God just touched him. And I believe he touched that lady. A few, a few weeks later, she passed away. But it's all about love. Nobody can stop the love of God. Nobody can stop it. And even with, with Nick's own dad, when I went to, to see him the day before he passed away in the hospital, I just, I, I was told he, he, he can't really, you know, know much because, again, he, he had very bad dementia. And I, and I said, I took hold of his hand and I said, Dad, I just want you to know that we all love you. We love you so much. And a little tear went down his cheek and he squeezed my hand so hard. You see, love is very powerful and God can do different, more things than we expect and imagine. And I just felt to, to share today um, that maybe God is calling some of us to come out of the cold, the cold into the warm. And, you know, sometimes... Um, there are obstacles in our, in, the, in our way. Like for me, there was an obstacle of, of COVID with mum. We couldn't, we couldn't get to see her. And sometimes in the same way, we can put obstacles in the way of our relationship with God. We can, you know, say, oh, you know, we can keep God back and we can, you know, just try and stand back from him and, and not want to be close to him. But maybe God is calling us to be closer to God today. Maybe some folk feel far away from him. Maybe some folk feel there's an obstacle there that's stopping them from getting close to God today. And maybe the Lord wants us to come and hand over our loved ones and place them into his hands. People who we haven't seen for a long time or people who we can't see, members of our family. Maybe we need to come to him today and place our loved ones into his hands. And I just feel that the call is going out from God today, you know, to just come in, to come close to him, to just like to just put down heavy bags, to come in and to be close to him. And, you know, despite 
you know, despite all of what happened, you know, with mum, I, I just know when I prayed, I, I had peace in my prayers because God answered my prayers and God answers our prayers. So maybe some people are listening who who um, maybe have never heard about the Lord. I just want to say that, that if God is calling you today, respond to his call. You know, give your life to him. Hand over your life to him. Ask him to come into your life. Um, come out of the cold into the warm because there's no better life than to have the life walking with Jesus. And he can amazingly change our lives. He can give us peace. He can help us in these difficult times. And, and I, I, I just implore you, that this, this isn't a message today where I'm kind of like all um, you know, jumping up and down and all bouncing around. Because sometimes when God speaks, it, it's not always that kind of message. It's a different kind of message. It's a message from his heart. And I believe uh, the message from God's heart today is if you're far away, come near, come close to, lead, come close to the Lord and just come into his presence because he, he loves you. And it doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what's happened. It doesn't matter if you're really carrying a burden or struggling with what with what with this with what's happening all around us. Um, if you can't understand it, if you're struggling, you, you can still come to God, and He can bring that peace and love and that understanding in your life today. So I just felt that was the little message, and I just wanted to come this morning with a few Bible passages that may may help us a little bit as we go through these times, because that's what we need to hear the Word of God. So the first passage I've got is in Psalm 9, Psalm 9, and it's verse 10, and it said, Those who know your name will trust in you, it will trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. You see? So, you know, we need to seek God. You know, we need to seek God. If, we, if God knows that we're seeking him and we're looking for him and we want to get close to him, he, he, he will hear us and he will answer and he will help us. For those who know your name will trust in, trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. So God wants us to trust in him. He's faithful. He's faithful to his promises. So let's take hold of his promises and believe him. Believe what he's going to do in our lives today. Because he wants to do great and mighty things. And part of that is that he's calling us back um, you know, to, to him, to, into a deeper walk with him, to be closer to him today. And I've got another one here that I'm going to read out to you. Uh, James 4, verse 8. James 4, verse 8. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. So God is calling us to come near to him. You know, we need to purify ourselves. We need to let go of, of the things that get in the way. And sometimes if we're double-minded, we think, oh, you know, all, all these other things. And God wants us to let go of all of these other things and ways and come to him because his way is perfect. You know, the word of the Lord is flawless. He's a shield to all, for all to take refuge in him. So come to him today. He's faithful to his promises. We can we can rest in the Lord and we can submit and yield to him. And then I'm just going to go over to, um, I had one in Matthew. Go back to Matthew. I can find where that, that one was. Um, and it was Matthew, uh, where are we? Matthew, oh yeah, 28, 20. Um, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of age. Isn't that a wonderful promise? And surely I'm with you to the very end of age. You know, the Lord's divine presence is with us. I quite often say this because it's so true. And in these times, we need to hold on to the truth of that. His presence is in us. And he wants to teach us more about who he is, more from his word. And, you know, we're inseparable from Christ. He wants us to keep really close to him. You know, he wants to, you know, he wants to show us how much he loves us. And even today, every day, you know, he wants to show us that. So I just want to implore us. Uh, you know, this day, you know, to just come to the Lord and to just spend time in his presence. And I have got another one. Um, and it's in, um, this is, this is quite a, this is one's a lovely one I found. 1 Peter 1, 1 Peter 1, um, and I think it's 3 and 6. Let's just make sure I've got the right, yeah. Uh, yeah, this, this is a lovely, um, it's partly an exaltation. It's a lovely, a lovely passage of, of scripture. 1 Peter 1, 3 and 6. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of J Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. Keep kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. Last time. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. Well, 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 that, that's a wonderful passage to hold on to, isn't it? You know, that, that, that we can glorify our God 
that we can know his grace, we can know his mercy, we can know his eternal hope, we can hold on to his eternal hope today, that he's, um, he's a God that, that, re that regenerates us, he's a God that gives us power, that we're his spiritual heirs, that we, we, you know, we can hold on to the truth of that today, we might not feel like it, but we are, you know, we're his spiritual heirs, we have a spiritual home, and it's just, you know, we can know that faith, we can know that he protects us, and he looks after us, and we can just know that salvation, and even if we're discouraged today in any type of way, we can rejoice. We can just push that discouragement to one side and rejoice in who our God is because our God is great and mighty and we can rejoice in his power. We can rejoice in his name um, because he is triumphed and he's victorious. So Lord, I do just pray for this little message today, far away, that if there are some that are far away or if we feel far away and separated from our loved ones or in relationships, or there's that isolation. I just want to come and, and, and commit all of these, these people, these loved ones, in, into your hands, Lord. And my prayer today is that as we just commit these things into your hands, that the burden will lift and, and love will be like a, an anchor in our lives for every single person, and more so for you, Lord. I pray that, that people will just come to you and let them show you afresh today how much you love them. I just want to pray that prayer, Lord, and just give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. I can see that some of you are watching and I can't see who it is because it's blurred because the little camera, the phone is so small and it's quite far away from me, but I will send you a message. Thank you so much. I just pray that you've been blessed today and I will send out an, another message tomorrow and I'll put this on video if you need to say it again, see it again rather. So be blessed. Have a great day. Take care. Sending you much love. Bye bye now.